Hey guys, welcome to Rack of Lamb. This is Maggie and I'll be demonstrating how to make eggplants and minced pork with garlic sauce. First, remove the ends of the eggplants and cut them into bite-sized pieces. I personally like to use the roll cut method, introduced to me by the best chef I know, my dad. Next, brine the eggplants by soaking them in one teaspoon of salt mixed with just enough water to cover the eggplants. Brining supposedly removes bitterness and helps retain moisture during cooking. You may place a weight over the eggplants to ensure they are completely submerged. In a bowl, mix together two tablespoons of light soy sauce, two tablespoons of water, one teaspoon of dark soy sauce, one tablespoon of sugar, and two teaspoons of cornstarch. Mix thoroughly and set the sauce aside. After 15 minutes of soaking, drain the eggplants and allow them to dry. You may also pat them dry with paper towels. Next, slice a small thumb of ginger and mince four cloves of garlic. In addition to the eggplants that you previously drained, you should have sliced ginger, minced garlic, eight ounces of ground pork, and the sauce mixture. Heat one and a half tablespoons of oil in a nonstick pan, turning to coat evenly. Add the eggplants and cook for nine to 10 minutes, stirring frequently until the eggplants are softened.
When the eggplants are softened or cooked to your liking, transfer them to a separate plate. In the same pan, heat one tablespoon of oil, turning the pan to coat evenly. Add the garlic and ginger and stir for 30 seconds. Add the ground pork using a spatula to break up the pork into smaller pieces, cooked until no longer pink. Once the pork is cooked through, place the eggplants back into the pan, stirring to combine them with the pork. And if you want your dish to give off an aromatic scent, add one teaspoon of Shaoxing wine. Next, give your sauce a good whisk to loosen up the cornstarch, then pour it into the pan, immediately stirring until the sauce thickens. Finally, garnish your dish with some scallions and get ready to top your rice with some irresistible flavors. If you enjoyed my video and would like to see more, please check out my blog linked below and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching!